So this week was a major week in Nintendo news for two big reasons. First, because Monday marked the day that Reggie fils finally officially gave up his seat as president of Nintendo of America, and second, because this also was the week Reggie finally caved and joined Twitter.com. Armed with the at Reggie Twitter handle, which Twitter itself had to wrestle from the hands of a spam bot who had that name just to secure it for Reggie, and also unrelated, Look at this really good tweet from the original Reggie account. Uh, Reggie has managed in just over 48 hours to reach over 350,000 followers, which is a real testament to the man's legacy and his lasting impact on fans who clearly remain obsessed with and fascinated by this man, even with his last days as a Nintendo employee now firmly behind him. And since launching the at Reggie account, Reggie has mostly just been using it as a way to take us by the hand and walk us down memory lane with him, uh, showing off some of the treasures he's uncovered while he's packing up his office before he gets out of that chair and walks through Nintendo's front doors for one last time. And while it's been enjoyable to take this trip down memory lane with Reggie, it's also served as a fascinating glimpse into the space where Nintendo's president spent most of his time, uh, giving us a unprecedented and maybe even slightly unintentional glimpse into uh, where he worked and how he lived. And there are a lot of little details to pick out and enjoy in the background of these photos. Um, I spent like a long time looking over them and I just, there's so many things. There's his game award with the game awards envelope with a cappy on top of it. There's the custom Reggie Amiibo that YouTuber Gondacris made for Reggie and sent him, which she said she didn't know he ever received until uh, he posted his great goodbye video. Um, there's this plastic butt that somebody gave him, which is a reference to his, his classic E3 reveal moment a trillion years ago. My name is Reggie. I'm about kicking ass. But for all the details that I picked out from these images, there's one small detail noticed not by me, but by eagle-eyed Nintendo fan Jason Cryer, uh, which cast a pretty dark shadow, frankly, over this entire week. Now, what Jason noticed is indeed very troubling. Apparently, for the full span of Reggie's 13-year career at Nintendo of America, he has been sitting, frankly, he's been suffering in a Herman Miller Mira chair. It's possible you don't understand the significance of this. You might not understand what the big deal is. Herman Miller chairs are pretty widely recognized as the highest end chairs that you can get in, in sort of the tech industry. It's, it's become almost a, a joke that, that uh, Aeron chairs are the chair of choice for every startup in Silicon Valley or, or any sort of tech-based industry. What Reggie has in this photo is a Herman Miller Mira chair, a chair that is only a fraction of the cost and the quality as their Aeron chair. And what's worse, it's not even a Mira 2. If you look closely, again, this is something Jason noticed, if you look closely at the legs of the chair, uh, this is actually a Mira 1, a chair that they put out 16 years ago and a chair that Herman Miller does not even list on their website anymore. And we are talking about the COO and president of Nintendo of America. We're talking about the face of Nintendo in the West. And for 13 years, they had him sitting in a Mira. It's, it, is, it is disgusting, quite honestly. I mean, just to put this into perspective, like yes, an Aeron is expensive. However, on the other hand, we're talking about Reggie here. My first job out of college, I, I wound up sitting in an Aeron chair at age like 22. You see what I'm saying? Like, I, there is no universe in which I should be sitting in a higher quality chair than Reggie. Let me put this to you another way. Um, as of 2018, Facebook had 35,000 employees under its belt, more than 35,000 employees. Do you wanna know what type of chair that those Facebook employees sat in every single day? They sat in 35,000 Herman Miller Aeron chairs. Every single employee at Facebook has a better chair than Reggie had. That is fully, wholly unacceptable. Now look, an Aeron chair is is not cheap, right? It's if if we fully max this thing out and fully go for all the trimmings, we get him a size C large chair with the adjustable posture fit SL lumbar support. Um, obviously, we keep the tilt limiter and seat angle included in there. Uh, spring for the fully adjustable arms and the leather arm pads, which are an extra eighty bucks, uh, and the two point five inch hard or carpet rollaway resistant casters with quiet roll technology. We're looking at a grand total of around $1,600 for this chair. And I know that sounds like a lot. In the grand scheme of things, $1,600 is, that's what, like 26 and a half copies of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Just set aside the money from that and then use it to buy Reggie a chair. I mean, I, and the thing is, right, like hindsight is twenty twenty. But I, I think that there's a really good solution to this problem. I know there, nothing can undo the damage that they did both to Reggie's pride and probably his lower back 
and and neck and posture over the past 13 years. Now, if you're anything like me, after hearing about this, you are furious with Nintendo and, and with all of us, I guess, as fans for not addressing this sooner. Um, and you're probably asking yourself, what can I do about this? Well, Jason has set up a change.org petition um, demanding that Nintendo of America honor Reggie with a fully loaded air on chair. Now, as of the time that I'm making this video, this only has 12 signatures. I know that we can get it well above 100. I, I, I believe in you guys. I know that we can do this. Now, one additional piece of the puzzle that I noticed while doing research for this video that really shook me to my core is a recent post by the new incoming president of Nintendo of America, Doug Bowser, who posted on Twitter earlier this week this image. Now, this is crucial because it means that not only is Doug keeping the mid-tier Herman Miller chair that Reggie left behind, Nintendo has also not offered Doug the Aeron chair that he... Well, actually, I was going to say that he deserves, but let's give him a little time to prove himself. It's like, you know, day three of the job for him. We need we need to give him a little bit of time to show that he's, he's able to fill these shoes before we offer him the full-fledged Aeron. But yeah, same chair. Same chair that Reggie sat in for 13 years. It's just... It's shameful. This is not the company that I fell in love with. I'm counting on you. If you're watching this video, please, please head to the link in the description and sign this. We, we need to show Nintendo that we're serious about this. Just imagine Reggie with the best chair money can buy, uh, sitting in his home office, enjoying his retirement, hanging out on Twitter.com, just having a ball. That's, that's the world I want to live in. And if that's the world you want to live in, please sign this petition. Um, and you know, maybe, maybe Reggie's not a picky guy. Maybe, maybe he isn't that worried about having the nicest chair in the business, but the, that doesn't matter because the fact is he deserves the best chair in the business. And frankly, I think that we should err on the side of caution. Nintendo straight up owes Reggie this chair. It's I think it's the least they could do to send this legendary man off into retirement. And if you disagree with that, I've got a, my own chair for you and it's called the electric chair. So thank you for watching. Oh, one last thing. So a question I get all the time, all the time, like two times uh, when I'm streaming on Twitch and stuff is, hey, Nick, what's... What's that gamer chair you have? Let me, I'm trying to show you it. What's that gamer chair? What's that gamer chair you have? What's that gamer chair you have? I have literally only um, had bad chairs at home my entire life. I, I literally have always either used hand-me-down office chairs or bought like the cheap, literally like the cheapest chair you could get at Office Max or Target. Like, let me show, hold on. That's what I think of that. This is a Secret Lab, Secret Lab Titan series chair in the, what do you call it? The cookies and cream colorway is what I got here. Um, and it is it is very literally the first good chair I've ever had in my life. <laughs> it, I wondered why I hated, like it got to the point where I literally would like not play PC games and would dread editing on my computer. And it took me like years to figure out that it was because I was sitting in the cheapest chair money could buy and I hated it. It really fully, sucked and felt bad to do physically <laughs> anyways now i've got this gamer chair and it's got a bunch of gamer features like there's all these gamer d knobs and dials and stuff that you can wiggle on it and stuff like that um i don't know what any of them do and to be totally frank i don't really use them um but the one thing i mentioned this on twitch once and people in the chat freaked out and so i'm gonna mention it here um the one thing about this chair that is like literally <laughs> life-changing for me personally is i have i'm somebody this is like maybe psychotic i don't think normal people do this um, I sit cross-legged in my chairs half the time, um, and this is the only, like, to the point where, like, you might have noticed that this, my crappy old chair has no armrest. That was because I like sitting cross-legged at desks. I have literally taken the armrest off of chairs before just so I could do that. This is the only chair I've ever been in in my life where I can easily just <laughs> move the armrests, like, in and out like this and just lock myself into a permanent a permanent cross-legged position. I don't know if that resonates with anyone out there, but if, I wish I knew that this shit existed like a million years ago because I would have absolutely bought it. Anyways, if you want your own gamer chair, um, you're going to want to head to bit.ly slash gamer chair for gamers. It's the number four, bit.ly slash gamer chair number four gamers. It'll take you, I think it just takes you to the page for the one I bought, but they got a bunch of other options. So if you want to sit in a comfortable chair, but you don't have $1,600 for a Herman Miller Aeron chair, uh, simply go to that funny comedy URL that I set up. There's a link in the description. And uh, you will be able to purchase one of the many nice chairs from the chair store that they have on the computer.
Look at that, I did an ad in a video for once. I've been putting that off for a very long time. It didn't, it didn't feel that bad. Felt, felt okay about it. Never done one of these before, so bear with me. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you liked the Reggie Chair video. Have a wonderful weekend. Mwah.